Hi, welcome to Wrenching Up, where we tackle the projects and procedures that you, our customers, ask us to do. We've got two great projects for you today. One is on a hybrid vehicle. We think we've got one of the diagnostic challenges solved on high voltage circuits. You're going to love this. The other procedure is on batteries. We actually have conductive testing techniques today that you really need to learn about. Let's get started. Today's first diagnostic challenge comes to us from Ben at his shop just outside of Albany, New York. He wants to know how we can safely and accurately test high voltage cables to make sure that we're getting proper flow of electricity to the DC to DC converter. This Ford Escape hybrid appears to have a unique problem. When we turn the ignition on, the voltage across the 12 volt battery doesn't come up like it should. So perhaps the DC to DC converter is the problem. And one of the first things we'll do is we'll check the output of the DC to DC converter right here at these terminals. We don't have any output whatsoever. It's at battery voltage. In other words, what we're getting here at these terminals is the same things we're getting across the battery. So the DC to DC converter appears to be the problem. Here's our diagnostic challenge. The DC to DC converter gets its power from the inverter converter assembly on this orange wire that's at 330 volts and up to 4 amps. And the inverter converter assembly gets its power from the high voltage battery in the back. So think about that for just a minute. The DC to DC converter is getting its power from the high voltage battery in the back. That's why there's 330 volts on this cable. And the diagnostic challenge is, how do we check this cable safely to make sure that we're getting proper input to the DC to DC converter? And here to help us today with a solution to that challenge is Steve White from Electronic Specialties. Is this the solution to our challenge? Uh, yes, I believe it is. This is our new Model 688 True RMS Premium Low Current Clamp Meter. And it is designed to measure low currents like you have there in that DC to DC converter wire, which would be under 4 amps. They will accurately measure that. Also, particularly the low current battery drains, which are becoming a problem in the automotive field as well. So it's been designed for those, those types of jobs. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. And I see it's Cat 3 insulation. So remember, this is a shielded cable now, Steve. So this thing can read a shielded cable? Uh, yes, it's a Hall effect sensor in here. So it should pick up the electromagnetic field going through that wire. It should not be a problem. Yeah, definitely what it's designed to do. Okay, uh, for this test, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the meter to the 5 amp range here. There's a 5 amp range and an 80 amp range. And for this wire, which should be 4 amps or less, we should be safe there. Um, with any DC current probe, you want to zero it first before you clamp over the wire. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to take and clamp it right there. So we should be good. And you should be able to go start the vehicle now. Wow, that's actually fantastic. We've got about two amps or so here. And that's kind of normal, somewhere between one and a half and four amps. But the point is, we have solved our diagnostic challenge. This tool really works. And we now have a way to safely check high voltage currents on a hybrid before we condemn a, a very expensive component. Well, now that we've got this vehicle diagnosed, we can shut it off and begin our repair procedure. 